When you see the lights up high, meet me in the pot. When you see the air in the sky, meet me in the pot. Hey guys, today we're talking about oregano oil. I've used oregano for a few years now, and what I mainly use it for is to like get over being sick. The first part of this video will be on the medicinal benefits of oregano, and as always, the second part is going to be on the magical properties. Oregano oil is an antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, antiallergenic, antioxidant, uh, antiparasitic, anesthetic, anti-inflammatory, and an antispasmodic. Now the specific components of oregano oil is what we're going to talk about next. Carbacol is a phenol. It has potent healing properties that can fight infections including E. coli in the gut, Candida albicans, Salmonella, Listeria, and Staphylococcus, and a lot more of course. Thymol is another phenol. It's an antiseptic and is great for treating fungal infections, protects against toxins, and promotes healing. Rosemary acid is a powerful antioxidant and antihistamine. It reduces swelling and is effective for allergic reactions. Linalool, it soothes and relieves anxiety and stress. Whenever I use oregano oil topically on my skin, of course diluted, I notice that it literally uplifts the spirit, especially on your feet. Before you put on your socks, just put it on and it will help immensely with those feelings. Oregano also has nargin. It restrains cancer cells from growing and supports antioxidants in oregano. beta crifolin slash uh, EBCP, and that's an anti-inflammatory as well. Oregano is excellent for the immune system. It's good for parasites in the gut. If you use it five days in a row, um, the easiest way to use oregano internally is to get little empty capsules and put three drops in this capsule with a carrier oil. If you don't have that carrier oil, it will cause discomfort because it is so, so immensely strong. So definitely have it with that carrier oil. Take that two to three times a day for five days only. I'm going to go through a list of things that oregano oil effects specifically. The list is very long because it's so damn powerful. Oregano is good for colds, sore throat, cough, bronchitis, ear infections, blocked sinuses, swollen adrenoid glands, uh, viral infections in the larynx and trachea, whooping cough, respiratory tract infections, uh, stomach issues, ind indigestion, excessive acid, bloating, food poisoning, enhances and release of bile and gastric juices and that helps you digest the food. Great for upset stomach, irritants that can cause allergic inflammation in the airways like we talked about before, uh, pollen, mold, and other airborne irritants that can cause the allergic reactions also. Skin conditions, enzema, candidus, acne, pariasis, and skin infections cyst acne, vaginal yeast infections, toenail fungus, aging, wrinkles, um, it's great for the nervous system, muscle degeneration, parasitic infections, warts, herpes, cold sores, arthritis, joints, and muscle pain. Holy crap guys, like this is insane. It's insane. Use oregano oil, seriously. Muscle pain, natural painkiller for muscle cramps, uh, aching muscles, carpal tunnel, and meganog to stimulate menstrual flow, uh, hormonal and mood balances. Induces contractions in the uterus and should be avoided during 
pregnancy because of that it stimulates bleeding. Great for dandruff, your hair, your oral health. It's used in many, many um, mouthwashes, like a drop or two, depending on how big your vial is, and just water would do immense changes to your teeth. It's great for bad breath, plaque, gingivitis. It's an anesthetic, so it's calming. Also stimulating though because it promotes blood flow. It's an insect repellent, pesticide, and safe, safe for pet ringworms. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> it's amazing, it's amazing. What I usually do for oregano oil myself is uh, putting it, putting a drop of oregano in water and drinking it that way. However, you do have to be careful um, to not get it on your skin or your lips because if it is in direct contact without a carrier oil on your lips or skin, it will burn you. It will. Um, never use it around your eyes or the sensitive parts of your body because it will burn. Um, people with high blood pressure and heart conditions, liver damage and cancer and epilepsy should be a little bit careful with oregano because it is a stimulant. Now if you are allergic to basil, lavender, majorum, mint, or sage, you might have an allergic reaction to oregano because it is in that plant family. So when using it, always do a patch test with these oils because you never know. Just put it in the carrier oil on a uh, area of your skin, most likely your wrist because that is a little bit more sensitive than like the top of your arm. Wait 30 minutes, if nothing happens, you are golden. You're golden, go ahead and use it to your advantage. Okay, so now we're going into the magical parts of oregano. And this is, yeah, just stuff that I looked up online and kind of what it's been used for in ancient lore or folklore. Okay, native to the mountainsides of Greece, Italy, and the Mediterranean. Shepherds used to encourage their sheep to eat the oregano plant because it does add a flavor to the meat even after slaughter. Recorded use by the Assyrians in 3000 BC from the Greek word oros meaning mountain and ganos meaning joy. So it literally translates into joy of the mountains or mountain brightness. It was used for all sorts of magical rituals and superstitious practices in the Middle Ages. In death, the herb was grown on tombs to help the deceased be at peace and happy in the afterlife. Uh, folks used to wear oregano on their head or underneath their pillows at night to promote psychic dreams and uh, and astral projection. It was carried as a charm for health and good luck. Also can be used in your house, uh, grown outside the home, or even having a little bag of oregano in your car can is said to promote the health and good luck too. Also grown around the house to protect from evil. It's drank as a tea to let loved ones go. Ladies carried it in their tissue mussies to mask unpleasant smells in the marketplace. It can be used topically on plants. It's very safe to be used as a pesticide, like spray it on top, diluted of course. Cut while in bloom, it yields a reddish brown dye. The leaves can be rubbed over wood as a sort of uh, wood polish and it leaves a pleasant scent too. Greek physicians, including Hippocrates, prescribed it for its antiseptic, disinfecting, and immune-boosting properties. A Greek myth tells the story of Aphrodite creating oregano to be the symbol of happiness to make man's, mankind's life happier. When the Romans conquered Greece, they enjoyed the flavor of oregano and began spreading its cultivation through Europe and North Africa, in which the herb was used for flavoring meats, 
uh, fish, and even in wine. People would chew on the leaves to relieve indigestion, toothaches, inflammation, and suppress coughs. Okay, so these are the symbols for the components of oregano. Its planet is Mars and Mercury. It has the elements of air and fire. Um, the zodiac signs related to oregano are Aries, Gemini, Libra, and Virgo. And the chakra it's related to is the solar plexus. Oregano oil lends itself to the cultivation of self-confidence and inspires action. Use this oil to relieve and energize your spirit, allowing its essence to cleanse and purify your body and space. Used in spells for happiness, tranquility, and luck, health, and protection. It banishes sadness. Used in love potions to enhance already existing love and relationships. The plant itself also has vitamin K, A, E, and C, and the uh, minerals are boron, calcium, copper, iron, magnesium, niacin, potassium, and zinc. Cool! Cool, yes. Oregano is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, so when you first use it, just try it out, like try it out. You can get oregano at any health food store in your town most likely, um, wherever they sell essential oils. Or you can buy it online, um, I'll put a link down here for Amazon, you can get it there. And also check out my channel and just let me know what you want to watch. Yeah, thank you for watching, please get your oregano oil on and uh, See how it works for you and your family. Be careful with oregano around children, just so you know. Let's take care of ourselves, take care of our life, and our health. I've got to go. Um, please have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye. When you see the lights up high, meet me in the pie.